Hi beautiful friends, welcome to today's video. I have an extra special announcement. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you're already in the know, but we are expecting our third baby and I am just like absolutely thrilled. Each pregnancy has been so unique and different and this time I am in such a peaceful place feeling just so grateful and so savoring every week, every day of it. It's just been so magical and it feels so good to come on here and to be able to share this news with you. So I want to talk about though a few things I'm doing differently. I just want to share the few things. There's there's probably more that could um, you know come up over the next few weeks and months but I am at week 14, so I'm just coming out of my first trimester and have really decided to set different goals and different expectations on myself with this pregnancy. I want to dive into those. I do just have to address though, like I'm so excited. I just ordered this, like this is total side note, skip ahead if you want, but I'm so excited because I just got the same backdrop that I used to film with and um, we're gonna just like set up a little filming area. When I have that in my home, I'm so much more in the habit of just sitting down and chatting with you. I've just never been the best at like at, at vlogging and like bringing you into my life. It just feels like a lot to juggle and a lot to be present with. So. I just have to say on a personal side note of excitement of sharing with you more and being able to show up here more um, we're kind of in transition here so just that's that's the setting that we're in currently and I'm just feeling so lit up to inspire the mamas and like let's talk about the things that are working let's talk about the things that you know the areas of life that we can truly thrive in right now I just have so much to say, but let's stay on topic. Let me not get too far ahead of myself. And for today's video, let's talk about the three things that I am doing differently this pregnancy that I did not do in the first two. So the first thing is I am truly going for it with the protein. I did this a little bit with my first pregnancy. And then I was a vegan with Isaac's pregnancy which was not a good experience, you guys. It wasn't. That was like not a good idea. I did, I, I was underweight. Isaac was, yeah, I just, it's a, it's a whole other video. It's a whole other thing. We're not gonna get into it today, but what I've learned is that this pregnancy, I'm, I am embracing the raw milk, the meat, the bone marrow, the bone broth. I've got bones in my Instant Pot right now. I am just like going for it with the really, really high protein, animal protein diet. Thankfully, the seasons are changing, right? That makes the protein, at least for me, so much easier. When it starts to get cool outside, we can do like stews and pot roasts and like, all of those yummy, like really long, slow cooked meals, which are my favorite. So we're doing a lot of those and uh, a lot of homemade bone broth, a lot of connecting with local farmers and like gathering up bones to put in my Instapot and make my own bone broth and sip on that as much as possible or even make rice with it if I'm just kind of getting tired of drinking it. Um, making soups, all sorts of things, and then um, really going for it with the high protein flours in our sourdough bread. So um, I am about to put it in order. I don't have it yet. I want to let you guys know about these beautiful local mills. Well, they're not really local to me anymore. I'm in Arizona, but I grew up in Illinois, and um, when I was visiting there for a while, I got introduced to this mill, this flour mill called Janie's Mill, and you can order uh, their flowers online, and they are the best flowers I've ever used. So, and I'm sure we all have, um, you know, places in our state or maybe a little bit more local, 
but um, I just have this nostalgia of, you know, supporting my, my roots and where I grew up. And so I'm going to be uh, trying out, I've tried their flowers before, they were fantastic, but this time I'm getting like the big 25 pound bag of, of high protein flour from Jamie's Mill. I'll put the link in the description, I'm not affiliated, it's just something I'm truly very excited about and uh, the flavor of those breads that I made from her were just outstanding. So. Um, yeah, so everything that I'm doing, there's always a, how can I add more protein to this? Eggs have been huge. Um, my midwife has been really, really encouraging um, eating eggs every single day and liver. So the way that I'm doing liver, because the liver is a gnarly one. I don't like the taste of liver. Most of us don't like the taste of liver. Um, I don't also like taking it in capsule form. So I know you can get supplements of organ meats and those sorts of things. Uh, and it's just, meh, like, I don't know. It's just, here's what I do. Here's what I think is really fantastic is taking, <laughs> this is gonna, some of you are gonna tune out and that's okay. It's gonna just gross you out, but stick with me. This, this works. If you are a person who has heard about all the liver benefits, um, to stick with me, this really is the thing that has I've been able to be the most consistent with is ordering raw liver online from a good source. Get it home, cut it up into like a half a teaspoon amount, like a pellet, like a little size that you could pop it in your mouth and swallow it down. Cut it all up in sizes like that. Put it in parchment paper so that it's kind of covered top and bottom and then freeze it so that you have almost like a supplement, but it is the real deal raw liver meat. Okay, so you take that down, you don't taste it too much, and then to make it even easier, take a drink of orange juice or something. Orange juice is my favorite, something really, really strongly flavored. Um, the orange juice totally does it for me. And then you did it, good job. You got your liver in, you did it. And um, cause I just, I don't love cooking with, with liver, except for some of those blends you're seeing now that have like organ meat mixed in with some beef or bison. That's pretty cool. We'll do chili and tacos with those just to like, just to make sure we can't really taste the organ meats. I'm just not accustomed to it. Liver, eggs, lots of bone broth, um, lots, yeah, lots of those things coming in that is definitely new for me this time aiming for that 100 grams of protein every day it's not easy that is i got a plan for that I, i've got to like commit to that and i'm not counting my protein shakes and i know some of you may not agree with that but i'm really i am trying to be as much in like whole real food land as possible now I still drink protein shakes and I still do that like as a snack and because my kids love them and um, I think there's lots of benefits from drinking those and that's amazing and filling and perfect after a workout. And let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about movement and working out. I didn't do that <laughs> my first two pregnancies. I didn't work out. I, I didn't even walk. I like, I just didn't do those things. I sat around, I put my feet up, I did not get my movement in and it really, really, I had a hard time with my second pregnancy because of that. I ended up in bed rest. My muscles were just not strong enough to do the things they needed to do. And so I was throwing, my, my hips were going out of alignment, like my muscles were just really weak. And again, pair this with like a vegan diet at the time it just wasn't, it was not the best situation uh, for my body. I was not feeling super strong. This time, I knew that some of the goals I really wanted to hit with this pregnancy, like number one goal was movement. And I just wanted to keep it really simple and embrace walking. I've been embracing getting on the treadmill, getting my steps in, which is such a lame term. I just think, I don't know why I cringe when I hear people say that, but that's what I'm doing now. I'm totally in that era of like getting my steps in and just totally embracing it. 
Um, I'm aiming for 10,000 steps every other day at this point because you have to understand I'm a person going from like, I would do Pilates or I would go out on hikes, but this sort of like commitment to a number on a regular basis is new for me. I've never worked out in that way and I'm not saying anybody needs to work out in that way, but for me, I need that this time around. I need a checkbox that says, you did this, so we've checked the box. And um, that's just, I'm just at a phase in life where that is like very supportive for me. And, you know, I was talking to a friend who is a doula. Um, her handle on Instagram is Mother the Mother. Absolutely adore her, such a good friend. And, and we were chatting and she was like, you know, walking, it's just like, she gave me this whole download about how um, in kundalini yoga, this is super important for um, pregnant mothers, not something I knew much about, but just hearing her whole transmission and her enthusiasm about this, I was like, okay, five miles a day, can I, can I work up to it? So yesterday I did three, today I'm almost to three, or no, I'm sorry, yesterday I did five, I did my five miles yesterday, and today I'm about to three. And so I'm kind of oscillating with this, like getting the five miles in every single day is just, I'm not hitting it and I'm not doing it, but I'm hoping that over the next few weeks, especially now that I'm out of the first trimester, that's going to come a bit easier. And here's the thing that just, I didn't get this or like, I, <laughs> I never really put this together, you guys. This is very basic. And it makes so much sense. But until I was actually doing it and living it and feeling it in my body, it wasn't like registering up here, which is that with all of that protein that I'm eating and fat that comes along with these animal products, like, of course, walking and movement, you gotta move that stuff around your system. Like it's gotta digest properly. It's gotta be put to work. And getting my body into this place of like, okay, we're gonna get to work, we're gonna get on a walk, we're gonna move, we're gonna move the blood, we're gonna move the lymph. This is totally making the 100 grams of protein goal so much more attainable because they work together, of course, which I don't know why that didn't make so much sense to me until I started to really feel it in my body and I started to feel my body almost give that, you know, like, thank you, yes, this is, I need the protein, which I was doing in the first trimester, but I was feeling so sluggish and tired and not sleeping well. And then it like really clicked in, like, okay, I gotta really get on this movement consistently, like not just once a week, not twice a week, but like at least every other day, at minimum every other day. And so that's been a huge challenge for me, you guys. I don't like working out. I don't like, I don't like that idea. It makes me, ugh, like it just, it's not my thing. Um, but I'm making it my thing and I'm making it, like I'm putting a new spin on it. And now that I can feel these shifts in my body and the way that I'm really utilizing protein now, it's a huge game changer. So movement has been huge and um, just can't recommend it enough. And I feel like for the rest of my life, I really want to make walking such a part of my lifestyle because it's just been so profound. I can make a whole other video just on walking at some point if you guys would like to hear about that. And then the third thing that is very different this time around, extremely different, is going the route of a home birth. And this is so exciting for me. This is new territory for me. So with my other two children, I first had a hospital birth. Then I had a birth center birth, um, which was pretty much just a building right next to the hospital. And I have my birth story with Isaac here on YouTube if you're into these things. And this time around, we are opting for the route of a home birth. So. I'm really excited about this because I feel a sense of relaxing into birth that I haven't felt with my other two pregnancies. My midwife visits are such a joy, so relaxed. They feel like just like girlfriend dates at lunch and they're just so nourishing on every level. Um, 
And I'm really approaching this birth with like a very new level of sovereignty and decision making and authority uh, compared to my last two births. So that is something that um, I'm definitely doing differently this time around and is new for me um, to experience. So um, that will be, I think, really beautiful. And um, I feel like just fully supported in, in that route. So it's a really empowering decision and something that I feel very grateful um, for this third child so that, you know, I feel like I'm being gifted a, a very defining um, moment in my life with this birth. And I have a feeling it's going to be very impactful um, on me for the rest of my life and on this child and on this child's life. So that's really beautiful. So those are some of the things that have been happening in my world. Um, those are the things that I'm really focusing on. Um, probably some other little goals that I had with the other pregnancies as well as just getting in lots of herbal teas, staying really hydrated, just, you know, really embracing my body with a lot of love. And it's going to be just so beautiful to continue to show up here on YouTube and share that journey with you and all of the other conscious motherhood stuff that's been bubbling up since this conception, really. It's been um, such an activating first trimester, but all kind of internally, right? So now I'm in a place where I can share it with you and be here and be seen and feel good about that. So it's just so good to be connecting with you here. Um, please leave a comment about anything in this video that you want me to go deeper on or even like directions that would be interesting to you. I'm very, very open to that and really seeing where the direction of this channel is gonna go. Um, there's so much to share around parenthood and like family adventures and all of those things. But I also wanna bring you into, you know, I'm looking at the other wall of the room with all of my yarn and this heirloom crafting um, energy that I've been really working with this year has just been healing on so many levels. So there's quite a lot of, of beautiful and uh, very feminine conversations for us to have here. So I'd love to hear from you and what's resonating with you. I hope you are having such a beautiful day and you found this video to be an upliftment to your spirit today. Have a good one and I will see you in the next video.